Welcome to Vista 5 Training. I'm your host, Ian Mackley. In this video, we will take a look at how to create an AP invoice in Vista 5. First, on the navigation menu, go to Accounts Payable AP Invoice Entry. When creating a new invoice in Vista 5, look for the green required fields first. A unique batch ID is optional. However, if one is not manually entered, Vista 5 will automatically assign the PO to a predefined batch using today's date. Under Payment Info, the invoice grouping per check can be established in the Code field. If multiple invoices for the same vendor are set to code 0, they will all print on the same check. There are a total of 10 groups. In addition, the asterisk prints that invoice on its own exclusive check, no exceptions. In the distribution area, fill in the coding, amount, and description for each line item as needed. Notice that as you start typing into the distribution fields, pre-existing accounts begin to appear. Third-party vendor is used when a second vendor relates to a particular line item. For example, when creating an invoice for a credit card company, third-party vendor denotes who will actually be paid. If one or more PO line items must be relieved, F12 into the PO field to pull up all POs for that vendor. Individual lines from within POs can be selected as well. Use the Z and C boxes to zero or close that particular line item. The difference between zero and closed line items is simple. Zero lines merely amount to zero dollars, while closed line items, regardless of their amount, will not display on reports unless specifically indicated in the report criteria. POs have also gone a step further. If before entering any invoice information, you select your PO from the PO number field, a good portion of the invoice will automatically fill in for you. Notice that vendor name, number, work region, memo, and distribution have all auto-filled. Once you are finished filling out the necessary info, click the disk icon or hit enter to save your invoice. If you have any feedback, please send it to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, visit our community page on entertainmentpartners.com to find all the ways to connect with us on our social networks. Thanks for watching.